Hi class, welcome to today's math lesson. Today we're going to be doing our addition facts and we're going to be doing sums to 10. I bet you that you're going to do wonderfully great at these. Let's take a look. Here's our first one. 3 plus 7 is 10. 7 plus 3 is 10. 4 plus 6 is 10. 6 plus 4 is 10. Are you noticing a pattern? I hope so. Let's see if this pattern continues. 5 plus 5. You already know that double fact. 5 plus 5 is 10. 2 plus 8 is 10. 8 plus 2 is 10. 1 plus 9 is 10. And 9 plus 1 is 10. I think those are going to be some pretty easy facts for you to remember. They all equal 10. I think that you're going to do very well. There's a couple things that I want us to look at. One, I think we should understand why it always equals 10. But it's also good for us to memorize our facts. When we memorize our facts, we can do our math so fast. But also, it's good for us to look at why and how they total 10. So we're going to do both of those. Let's take a closer look together. There are a lot of fun ways to practice our math facts and a lot of fun ways to learn and understand them. To help you today, I think you should get out your flashcards. You should get out some fun gems or any kind of toys, maybe even a little snack, and a piece of paper. I'm going to, what I suggest you do is fold your paper in half and take a marker and make a nice line down the center of your paper. And then we are going to use this to understand our math facts. The first one I want for us to understand is 3 plus 7. Hmm. For 3 plus 7, I am going to put 3 on one side. And how many do you think I'm going to put on the other side? That's right. I'm going to put 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I have 3 plus 7. Does that give me 10 altogether? Let's count. I have 7 on this side, so I'm not going to count it again. 7, and I'm just going to add on. 7, 8, 9, 10. Hmm. We had another math fact that was very similar to that. It was 7 plus 3. Both of these equal 10 because it doesn't matter if we just flip these and take these 7 and put them on this side and these 3 over here. That's not going to change the amount that we have. It just changes where they are. Let's make sure that's true. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's still 10. Just because I move them from one side to the other does not change the amount of gems that we have. 3 plus 7 and 7 plus 3 both equal 10. Hmm. I'm going to keep our 10 gems there and I am going to switch our fact. And I know you know this one already. 5 plus 5. 5 plus 5 is 10. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's look at another fact. We have 6 plus 4. We have 10 gems here, 
So we're just going to move 1 over so that we have 6 plus 4. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have a switcheroo fact that matches that. 6 plus 4 and 4 plus 6 are switcheroos. Our gems here show 6 plus 4. But what if we change them and make it show 4 plus 6? So we'll move these 6 on this side and 4 over there. Is that going to change our answer? Is that going to change the total or the sum? No. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We're still going to have 10 even if we just move them from side to side. Well, what about 7 plus 3? We need to move one of these over to make this side a 7. And then we have 3. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There's a switcheroo fact that goes with that one. 7 plus 3 and 3 plus 7 both have the sum of 10. It doesn't matter if we have the 7 on this side and the 3 on this side, or if we go switcheroo and show 3 plus 7. It's still going to total 10. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We only have a few facts left. Let's look at this one. 1 plus 9. I'll leave 1 on this side and make 3 little groups of 3 to do our, be our 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 3 groups of 3 make 9. 9 and 1 is 10. The switcheroo fact is 9 plus 1. Well, if we put this one over here and these 9 over here, does that going, is that going to change our sum? No. Our answer will still be 10. All right, class. Your challenge is to memorize all of these math facts. And I also want you to play with 10 objects and see all the different ways that you can total 10. And bonus, sometimes you can add more than two numbers together to equal 10. <gasps> Could you figure that out? I would love to hear if you do. Let's just read through our facts one more time and then we're going to say goodbye. 3 plus 7 is 10. 7 plus 3 is 10. 4 plus 6 is 10. 6 plus 4 is 10. 5 plus 5 is 10. 2 plus 8 is 10. 8 plus 2 is 10. 1 plus 9 is 10. And 9 plus 1 is 10. I hope that you have a wonderful day. And don't forget to practice. Bye-bye, class. Have a wonderful day.